Good morning, fellow Plexers. This is an update video to my recent Unraid tutorial video that showed you how to create an Unraid Plex server on a low power, small device without its own array that points back to your Synology NAS. And unfortunately, I connected the Synology NAS share the wrong way. While this will work, it won't remount on a reboot. You have to attempt to add another share this same way to then get this to be mountable, but even so, it won't auto mount. So I'll show you how to do it the right way, and I apologize for my misstep. So again, you simply add the share clicking this button, and if you click Linux first, it's not going to work. You won't be prompted for your username or password, and I don't know why. So click the Windows icon, click Next, and then paste in the IP address, the local IP address for your Synology server. Click Next, and now type your username. Now, this is a username you've created on your Synology NAS just for the, the this Unraid install to access. I simply created a user called Unraid and gave it permissions to a few different media folders. Um, and right now we're going to recreate this media PD network share from the Synology NAS. And then off screen, I will paste in my password for that share. Click next for domain, load shares, and then you can go down and pick the folder you want to mount. So I currently have the media PD folder mounted. So this one I'll, this time I'll pick my main Plex media folder. All right, so it's successful. So the first thing you do is you click the little settings gear and you choose auto mount and click done. And of course, I can mount it now. So in my previous video, I showed you how to um, add this to the container. But before we go there, let's talk about a reboot after a power loss on your Synology NAS and this type of additional Plex server. You want to give Unraid time to let your NAS boot up to have its folders accessible on your local network. If your Intel NUC or your Dell Optiplex boots up too quickly, your Synology won't be handing out shares and this auto mount won't happen and the container will start and not have access to media because there's no good link. So we're going to delay the whole process to give your NAS time to boot up. And you can experiment with this yourself. So under settings, go to unassigned devices, and there's this option remote share mount wait time. Now it's not really easy to know, but if you click on any um, description, you get an explanation that pops up. So this measurement is going to be in seconds. So I've set 90 seconds. So when, you, when I reboot Unraid, if I start a timer, by the time Unraid reboots, it's going to delay the auto mount. And this, this will work if you add the mount the way I just showed you. So that, that delays things a little bit. And test it out yourself. You may need three minutes. You may want five minutes. So if you wanted five minutes, you just put in 300 seconds. All easy peasy, hit apply, you're done. So then let's go to the container. And Unraid also has the option to delay container loading. And I'm not an Unraid expert, and I couldn't quite get it to work the way I wanted to. And then I read on a form that the first container where you, where you put your delay on. So you want the advanced view. You want to click auto start. And then you can put a time in in seconds. 
and I thought this delayed the first container from starting. It doesn't. This container starts when it starts, and then there's a 180 second countdown before the next container starts. And once I learned that, everything worked as it was supposed to. So I needed a container to start before Plex that would be both helpful and not need a mount back to my Synology NAS. So I installed this open speed test, which is very easy. You go to apps, you type speed test, and you pick the open speed test. There's nothing really to configure, you just get the Docker container running. So let this start first, and in the advanced view here, Well, I'm missing something. I wonder if the containers need to be spun down. And again, I'm not an Unraid expert. I just wanted a better platform for Docker containers. Let me get both those stopped. Well, there's a way to move these, and I'm missing it now while I'm doing the video. All right. The whole thing about my videos is when I run into trouble, I'm supposed to figure it out on the fly. So here's my regular Unraid server. Now, I wonder, I wonder if this is a difference between having a paid account with Unraid on this permanent NUC and, and still being under a 30-day trial with this other server. So you, you see how I can drag my containers in different start orders. So if I wanted Plex to start first, I could drag it up. And of course I don't. I want Plex to start last. So on my regular system, the same speed test starts. I have a 120 second delay. And then Tutali starts with a 15 second delay before channels DVR starts. And I've got the order still screwed up. And then Jellyfin starts and 15 seconds later Plex starts. So this gives me another 45 seconds on top of the 120 seconds before my final container starts. And this, this works like a dream. And for any of those in the group that's wondering, the Jellyfin install is just a test install. I would never move to Jellyfin, but free is free, right? But I wouldn't move to it. Plex is so much better and worth the price of a Plex Pass. So that's how you can arrange it. And I guess it doesn't matter that these were started or not. So you can delay that and give your Synology NAS time to boot up and have the shares be available. So in the actual Plex container, in comparison to my earlier video, you really just had to paste in this. Um, let me find it off screen. So my other video, well, let's, let's not do it there. My other video had the Synology name underscore instead of the IP address underscore. So you can literally just paste the new IP address underscore in and um, rerun your container. Any changes you make, you can then hit apply and the container will spin back up. So that's really the fix. Um, and now a reboot just, just works wonderfully. You can actually set the timer. And when you log, if you wait long enough and log into Unraid, everything will just be connected. But if you log in as soon as it pops back up, you can watch this auto mount and then switch to the Docker view you can watch this start up 
and then if you have a, a delay, you can set a new timer and watch the second container start up right on the clock. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope this is helpful for anybody that may have trouble with my bad um, with my bad instructions in the first video. Every day is a school day with Plex.